Hello, what is up guys? It's Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video for the PlayStation 4. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up a node network on the console version of the game. More specifically, we're going to set up a beer factory in Vela, so you can produce beer to provide energy for your workers in Vela, as well as in other cities as you expand your node network. If you haven't touched the node system yet in the PlayStation 4 version of Black Desert, you're going to want to get into it as soon as possible. It allows you to make passive income from producing various goods that other players want, and also allows you to craft bigger ticket items, things like the fishing boat that I'm currently working on. And real quick, before we get into it, if you're new to Black Desert for the PlayStation 4, new to my channel, please consider subscribing. There'll be a lot more content on Black Desert coming out, guides, things like that. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's get started with the things you're going to need. So in order to set this up, what you're going to need is at least 10 energy as well as 10 available contribution points. If you don't know what those two things are, if you're completely new or have never touched either of these systems, if you look in the top left corner of your screen, and I'll turn my screen so it's not in the sky so you can actually see the numbers, you're going to see that there are three numbers, and I'll point these out across the top. The top left number above your health bar is your total number of skill points you have available to spec into your stats. The middle number with the arm flexing is the total amount of energy you have. You'll need at least 10 of this to be able to do this. However, the more energy you have, the easier this will be. And then the next option over is contribution points. You gain contribution points for completing quests, various quests throughout the game world. You'll need at least 10 of these available. You see mine says 28 out of 160. It means I have 160 total points, but only 28 are available at this time. So you need at least 10 available points. In addition to this, you're going to need about 50,000 silver. So not too crazy requirements to get into this. Really quite simple. You should have it just by completing the first starting area and making it to Vela. Now that we have that situated, we're going to go ahead and start purchasing some nodes and properties to expand our node empire here in Velia. In order to do that, press up on the D-pad and navigate to the world map by clicking the right analog stick upward. Navigate over to Velia, the city itself, and press X. After you've clicked on Velia, a wheel is going to open up. Flick up and to the right to select the Manage Crafting option. For the goal, go ahead and click on the option for Lodging. Lodging allows you to hire workers. You need places for your workers to live in the node system in order for them to carry out the work for you and to even be able to hire them. This will show you all of the houses available in Velia that allow you to have lodging in them. The one we're going to look for here is Velia 1 Room 2. The reason we want Velia 1 Room 2 is because it allows us to hire two extra workers since it is a two-star lodging location. Go ahead and click on that, select the lodging option with two stars, and navigate down to the check purchase conditions option. It's going to show you that you needed to purchase Velia 1 Room 1 before you could purchase Velia 1 Room 2. If you just go ahead and select purchase all, it'll buy both of them for you, and you can just do that. Now what you're going to see on the left is that both of the houses have been selected that we had before. So press circle to leave this menu and navigate to Velia 1 Room 1. Click on this option and you're going to see there's the option for a residence here. We actually want to change this to a residence because we need somewhere to cook our beer. So go ahead and click on the residence option and change usage residence. This will allow us to cook in our residence rather than have additional workers that we don't actually need in the city for this tutorial. However, if you do want to expand the Velia Empire a bit more, purchase a different house for residence. This just helps you to save contribution points and then ultimately turn this building back into a lodging location. Now after about a minute or so has passed, you'll actually be able to level up Velia 1 Room 2 to a 2-star lodging location, allowing you to hire an additional worker. To do that, press the circle button, navigate to Velia 1 Room 2, click on it, scroll down to the Level Up Lodging option down below. This is going to cost you 1,000 silver. Go ahead and press X on that. It's going to take 2 minutes and it'll allow you to hire an additional worker. We're done with the city of Velia now, so we can just navigate away from all these menus by mashing circle. The next thing we need to do is navigate to either Logia Farm or Bartali Farm, and whichever one you don't go to first, you're going to go to second. Bartali Farm is located right here on the map. You went there for the main story. And Logia Farm, same thing. On your way into Velia, you went here during the main story. So we're going to go and start with Logia Farm, since that's the one that I am currently at. So at Logia Farm, you need to find the node manager. The node manager is this dude standing right by the gate. Press triangle on him to open him up, or hold down triangle to open up his menu, and navigate all the way to the node management option. In the node management menu, you're going to go ahead and click on the invest contribution option right here. So that's going to take two of your contribution points, and then you're going to invest in potato farming. So that'll take an additional contribution point. Make sure you select all those options. Potatoes are used for beer farming. You can look up all the different nodes in the game and see which ones have whatever resource you're looking for with a quick Google search. But for this beer, we need potatoes. So go ahead and navigate out of this menu. You're all set here. You now need to navigate over to Bartali Farm. So the node manager for Bartali Farm is Emma Bartali. So go ahead and hold down the triangle button to interact with her. Navigate to node management once again. Select the option. Click on invest contribution as well as invest contribution under the potato farming option once again. So now we have two potato farms ready to go. Now we're going to need to navigate back into Velia. 
Now what we need to do is navigate to the work manager over in Velia. To do that, open up the map once again and press down on the D-pad. This is gonna open up all of the different merchants available in the game. What you're looking for is the pickaxe icon located in the bottom right corner. It's the third from last option. Press R2 and that will automatically plot a course to the work manager. So just auto navigate to that by pressing the L stick in, click the left analog stick in and you will automatically path to the worker. So the Velio work supervisor is this dude right here. Hold triangle to interact with him. What you'd wanna do is hit the contract worker option. So we're looking to hire two workers since we have two farms that we're working on. Now, whenever you click contract workers, it's gonna use five energy. So the more energy you have here, the better. What you're looking for is higher tiered workers. Workers come in four tiers. You have the white workers that are basically the lowest tier. Then you have green workers, blue workers, and then ultimately a gold workers. So if I click the contract workers option, it's gonna say required energy five, current energy 46. Let's go ahead and click confirm, and it's gonna bring up a worker. So this is a white level worker. We don't want this one, they're really bad. If you press square, it'll let you view another worker, but it'll use another five energy. So let's do that. We got a green one. They're better than the white workers, but still not super great. You're looking for blue or gold workers. So go ahead and press square to view another and keep going until you can get a blue worker. Obviously, if you're gonna run out of energy, when you get down to 10 energy, you have to take the last two here because we do need two workers for this to work. So just go ahead and burn through some energy and try and get some better workers. Another thing of note is that there are three types of worker. There are goblin workers, giant workers, and human workers. Goblin workers work the fastest, but also have the least energy, so you'll need to feed them more often. Giant workers work the slowest, but they have the most energy, so you'll be able to feed them less frequently, and human workers are somewhere in between. Since this is gonna be mostly AFK and you'll just show up every once in a while, you might wanna go with giant workers for this type of location. However, if you're trying to build something quickly, like a boat, you'll wanna pick up goblin workers to be able to burn through the materials faster and get your thing going faster. So you see right here, I got a gold giant worker just popped up. So definitely wanna make sure I hire this dude. To hire a worker, just press X on the PlayStation controller. Do you wanna hire this worker? X to confirm, and you've hired the worker. So repeat this process until you get your two workers that you want. So now that we have workers and properties, we can finally start producing goods. Press up on the D-pad and flick the right analog stick up to open up the world map. We're gonna start with Logia Farm, so navigate to the left with the cursor, press Logia Farm with the X button, and flick the stick up and to the right to manage work. What we're gonna do is pick either of our workers, click select on them, and it'll show you how long it's gonna take them to work. Now we want them to do this as many times as possible, so they'll do it AFK and we don't have to do anything. Press triangle to set the repeat options, click all, and click triangle to confirm. This will make him do it 50,000 times, assuming you have 50,000 energy. All you gotta do is press square to start work, and that worker is now gonna start farming potatoes. All potatoes that you farm are gonna empty up into your storage located in Velia. Do the same thing for Bartali Farm. Press X to select it, flick up and to the right, select the worker, select the repeat settings by pressing triangle, click X on all, press triangle to confirm it to doing it 50,000 times, and then press square to start the work. Now both of our farms are producing potatoes, so the next thing we're gonna do is prepare for actually making the beer. And to do that, we'll need to navigate to the inn in Velia. So to get to the inn, just follow this path right here from the work supervisor, really quite simple, right down the stairs. And this is our innkeep chef, David Finto. What we need to do from him is buy some products. So go ahead and click on the shop option from him. So since we're going the cheap route for this, you're gonna to wanna to just pick up the cooking utensil. Obviously, if you plan on making an absolute boatload of this, you'll wanna pick up the Bolaños traditional cooking utensil as it allows you more uses before it breaks but we're just gonna go with the cooking utensil since we're doing it the cheap way. Just go ahead and click on that to purchase a cooking utensil. The next thing you need are the actual raw resources to make the beer. So to do that, you need sugar, leavening agent, and mineral water, which is located at the bottom of the menu. You need to scroll down. You need six mineral water, one sugar, and two leavening agents per beer that you make. So you're gonna to need to spend 240 silver per beer. My recommendation is that since the cooking utensil can make 100 of these beers before it breaks, Buy enough for 100 of each of these. So that means buy 100 sugar, 200 leavening agents, and 600 mineral waters. This is gonna set you back 24,000 silver. After you've done that, we need to navigate to the house that we built as a residence so we can set up the cooking station. So follow this path from the cooking guy. Out the door, up the stairs and to the left, and here we'll have both of the residences. So Velia 1, room one is the one that we purchased originally as a residence. Hold triangle to open the door and you'll walk on in. So this is our, gonna be our little cooking setup. What we need to do now is place the cooking utensil. To do that, press up on the D-pad to open up the menu that allows you to adjust the room. Click on the cooking utensil from your inventory. It should be in the top left. Click it and just drop it anywhere you want. I'm gonna put it in the middle of the room to avoid not being able to access it based on which side I come to. To place it, press X and then press X to confirm it. 
That'll drop the cooking utensil into your floor. After that, just mash circle until it says you want to quit and press X to quit place mode. So now you kind of have to wait for your workers to finish gathering some items before you can craft any further. But after about 40 minutes, an hour has passed about how long it takes to harvest the potatoes, you're going to want to navigate to the storekeeper in Velia. So the storekeeper in Velia is located at the bottom down by the docks. The storekeeper's name is Ernal. If you go ahead and talk to him right here, you will see in the inventory, you now have some potatoes. So I have 18 potatoes sitting in my inventory. So let me just go ahead and take those out and I'll move them all into my main inventory. Now we need to go back to our house over in Velia. After you make it back to your house, press triangle and hold triangle to use the cooking utensil. This is going to bring up the cooking menu. So now you need to put in the ingredients in the proper ratio. So first select the four ingredients that we listed before and drop them into the boxes. To do that, press X on the PlayStation controller and navigate to the items in your inventory. So once again, that was the leavening agent, the sugar, the potatoes, and the mineral water. After you've done that, press triangle to confirm. Now you need to pick the proper proportions for each ingredient. So once again, if you don't remember the recipe, it was two leavening agents, so select two for that, one sugar, five potatoes, which I don't think I mentioned the first time around, and then six mineral waters. So you can see, just hit up and down on the D-pad to select those, then press triangle to start cooking. Now, if you only want to do this once, you can click the once option. If you want to do it multiple times, you can do it multiple times. I know I have 18 potatoes, so I could do this three times. So if I pick multiple times, it'll pop up with this notice telling you if you want to continue, press yes, and then just type in how many times you want to do it. So I know I have 18 potatoes, five potatoes per thing means I can do it three times. Let's go ahead and do it three times. And then your player's going to start cooking. And after successfully completing the crafting, you're going to get a pop up saying that you produce some beer and that you've done and made what you wanted to. If you go ahead and look in your inventory, you're going to occasionally get different items. So you see this is a taken out food item. If you bring it over to another person or the person that wants it, you will get cooking experience for that. To navigate on the map where you need to deliver this item, press X on the controller and it'll set a waypoint on your marker to go ahead and deliver it. Simple enough. But now you have the beer in your inventory from the crafting that you just done. You can either sell this beer on the marketplace for a profit or you can save it to feed your workers. In order to feed your workers with the beer, you need to leave the residence. So just walk out the front door, hold triangle to open the door. After you're out the door, press L2 and up on the controller, and then flick the right analog stick into the bottom right corner to select the worker menu. To feed your workers, let's go up to the giant that I have working in Velia, click on him and press X, and then select the beer from your inventory by pressing X once again. This will feed him and recharge some of his stamina. His stamina is the orange bar underneath his portrait. The yellow bar is their progress and their current task that they're doing. You can feed all of your workers at the same time by hitting R2 and X at the same time. However, you need a lot of different materials to do that, and I don't have anywhere near enough to do it. But anyway, that is the node system in Black Desert. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope it helps you set up your first node, start crafting items, and experiencing this whole additional aspect of Black Desert that you probably haven't touched yet. If you do like this video, if it does help you, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel so you stay updated when new content comes out. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.